Hi friends, welcome back to the channel SciTicker. In this one, I'm going to do the review of the Realme X2 Pro device after using two years of usage. Yes, friends, it's been two years using the Realme X2 Pro device. In case if you won't believe, you can check out my unboxing video on the Realme X2 Pro unboxing in my channel, which I did upload 2019 November 14. As you can see, friends, exactly. So today day is also exact November 14, 2021 and it's been two years i did have this one phone for a long time and i can tell you a lot of impressions about this device obviously my long time usage with this phone all the details i'll try to discuss in this entire video so first thing is about the my overall experience of this phone i'm satisfied or not for these two years yes i'm completely fully satisfied with this device without uh, much problems i could definitely say that but let me need to talk about individual uh, point like performance wise am i satisfied or not display battery camera battery and charging connectivity pill quality and everything i'll to discuss in this video so first regarding the performance wise the phone has got the snapdragon 855 plus chipset so which is fantastic friends even after two years still the phone is really very powerful i mean it's not at all lag nothing at all you won't feel any kind of lag even right now when i'm trying to use even this phone supports the pubg i mean not PUBG, pubg and badwans mobile game 90 fps by default without any problem that's kind of fantastic and if you try to look at the Android benchmark scores and everything it will be around close to 5 lakhs 80 thousand 5 lakhs 81 thousand as you can see which is pretty um good I, I can definitely say that decent score during that time during two years back it's really good score now it became like okay score but still this phone can actually i think even this right now the phone can actually survive for one more year i can definitely say that one more year or maybe two years as well without any kind of problem with the performance that's the one thing which i can definitely say that performance not an issue in this realme x2 pro that's uh, that's what all other opinions are I, I think there are few other users who are actually using this device till now even they are really happy to use so no problem with the performance wise till now friends are uh, no issues with this phone and next thing is regarding the display so display is also another uh, best advantage for this phone the main reason is because it has got the super AMOLED display and 90 hertz refresh rate as well still 90 hertz is kind of drawback but still um, I'm okay with this kind of 90 years because two years back it got launched so we cannot expect much from this phone but even right now also the phone was able to give the really very good colors and the brightness is really very much brighter than other smartphones even in the low brightness settings it feels really very much bright as you can see friends how much bright 100% I'm trying to use 90 80 70 60 you won't be able to see the brightness levels how much I'm trying to use as you can see exactly it's so bright so brightness is not a problem in this device even the phone is one and a half year two, i think two years old still there is no issues with the brightness and you can see the display how much good it is in the display as you can see the clarity and everything the details so fantastic friends no problems with the display as well you can see so which is really great with the display so no issues with the display at all so the phone has got i think 135 hertz uh, touch sampling rate so which is pretty low touch sampling rate but during that time it's kind of really good touch sampling rate which is 135 hertz touch sampling rate and right now i think even in the oneplus Nord 2 which has got 120 hertz only so that's kind of advantage a little bit in the realme x2 pro device so there's nothing much complaints regarding the display friends so no issues hdr hdr are also supported in this device so i was able to play the youtube videos also were pretty good with the hdr support without any kind of problem up to i think uh, 4k resolution i can actually play in this device you can see hdr videos 4k no issues in the realme x2 pro device so performance display top notch till now even two years after as well so next thing is report about the battery and the charging so battery and the charging is kind of uh, mixed with feelings because the charging is pretty good even till now friends this phone can actually charge sometimes 26 minutes sometimes 25 minutes 27 minutes so it's very very fast charging because of this super walk charge which the phone has got yes super walk charge because of this one the phone can actually charge 100 percentage i think within close to below 30 minutes always in two years of time this is what the time uh, it took doesn't matter how many software updates the phone has got it did not affect any kind of charging speed unlike uh, realme x1 pro which got affected with the charging speed but this phone doesn't get affected with the charging speed at all while usage so overall the phone can definitely charge within uh, 30 minutes but the battery backup seems to be like slightly reduced obviously for two years of usage the battery will slightly downgrade and uh, degrade as you can definitely say that because of the software updates and because of my usage and everything so right now the screen on time you can expect maybe close to five five and a half hours of screen on time you are getting so that means only like 30 minutes usage got decreased from the beginning to till now not a big difference i would say but still 4000 mAh of battery is slightly less but during two years of time 
at that time it was really good but right now we are seeing like it's kind of less but during that time it was really great to have this kind of uh, 4000 mAh of battery capacity so regarding connectivity also the phone has got pretty good connectivity except there is no 5G obviously for 2 years back so there is no 5G much in this device and the one more thing the Wi-Fi transmit link speed is also pretty less at that time for 2.4 GHz which is only 144 Mbps but later the realme phones that are started to introduce higher transfer link speed that's a huge improvement for example in right now even in the realme gt master edition and realme x7 pro realme gt neo 2 realme gt all the devices they got upgraded with the wi-fi connectivity and which is fantastic to see that kind of upgrade so that's also a good advantage i would say and next thing is about the wi-fi 6 compatibility let me just show you what is happening there is no wi-fi 6 support in this realme x2 pro as you can see there is no Wi-Fi 6 so two years back launch so that's that might be another reason why there is no Wi-Fi 6 as well so in the connected device it's kind of okay I would say even right now also not much uh, complaints but there is no Wi-Fi 5G but most of the time I'll be using the 5 gigahertz network to get really good speeds and 4G plus carrier aggregation also really strong no issues with the 4G plus as well I'll try to make a video you will be able to understand comparing with other phones so next thing is about the camera so camera is another thing which uh, like it's kind of okay because even right now also there is no realme phone which has got really good camera like yeah, yes friends even the realme gt neo 2 also doesn't have much camera so there's nothing much to talk about the camera the performance got improved the battery got improved the charging speed got improved the display got improved but the camera remains to be same like very close not a huge difference i would say like even if the cameras are really improved i couldn't definitely say that this two years back uh, feels slightly kind of old but that's not the case there is no improvement in the camera at this moment not a huge improvement so which to talk about and front camera seems to be like exactly same whatever the front camera we are getting at this moment similar kind of front camera effect not a huge different in the front camera so nothing much details to talk about the cameras in this uh, realme x2 pro i think this phone can actually record 4k 60 fps i think so let me need to check out the settings so 4k Yes, 4K 60 FPS, yeah, you can actually record in this device without any kind of problem. As you can see, exactly, no issues. So we spoke about camera connectivity as well before. And build quality wise, also fantastic friends. Dual speaker setup, which has got very good dual speaker setup. And the haptic feedback, feedback is also fantastic in this device, no issues. And we do have the 3.5mm jack and Type-C port, obviously, and dual speakers, which are pretty loud speakers. Not much complaints with the dual speaker setup, stereo speaker setup. And overall, the build quality seems to be really good. I did, like, notch is kind of really old. But still, I did like this kind of form factor in this device. Very, not much uh, slim bezel, but still, it looks kind of uniform bezels toward the phone. And in display, fingerprint scanner is also kind of okay, I would say. Even though a little bit kind of slow, but still, it's kind of not bad, as you can see. So in terms of the build quality, I'm quite happy. No, not much complaints. So the updates also, I was able to get really pretty good uh, software updates regularly. Not much complaints. Till two years of usage. I did get a lot of updates in the realme x2 pro as promised continuously i'm getting updates so right now i'm running at the security patch update which is september security patch update as you can see till i did not get any kind of october security patch update but overall i'm still running september so that's kind of close to two years of security patches i am getting and android 11 version and realme ui 2.0 so it launched with android 9 and android 10 now android 11 and security patch September's Realme UI 2.0. I cannot complain much because I did get two years of updates continuously. Pretty good. No issues with the updates. So roll. As a two years of package, I am really completely satisfied with this device. No issues at all with this phone. Except like right now we do need 5G and anyway there is no 5G at all. But camera could have been like slightly better when when you compare with other Realme phones. Little bit, little bit. But apart from that, not having 120 Hz and not having huge battery. These are like minor complaints. But there's no major complaints and there's no reason to upgrade to other realme phone at this moment yes so maybe after one year because then you will be getting the 5g towers and 5g signals 5g sims and everything then you can actually upgrade to the 5g mobile phone actual wala phone but now it doesn't make any kind of sense to upgrade from this phone to realme gt neo 2 because that's no so that's it friends thank you for watching only in case if you are a heavy gamer and hardcore user if you feel this phone is slow Maybe then you can actually upgrade, but I will try to ask you one thing. So try to do the factory reset of the device once and try to check it. The performance will be again back to normal. Sometimes because of two years of usage long term, the performance seems to be downgrade. But do the factory reset, back up the data and do it 
and you will feel definitely the performance changed in this device that's what i will try to do every time after one year that's it friends thank you for watching stay, stay tuned for more updates in case if you're having any other questions on the realme x2 pro let me know in the comment section below so overall for me i'm really happy to use this device even i'll be using this device as well for another more time as well don't worry and stay tuned for more updates meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching bye